The amount of stormwater reaching the bay increases as the area's population grows. Development practices that harden and compact surfaces have caused a 50% increase in stormwater runoff into the bay. And low impact development is probably the future of Florida. We're going to have to develop differently. Those changes are in the land development codes and land development regulations, which are very difficult to tackle because they were all formed for the right purpose, but when you combine all the different facets of why they were developed, uh, they may not be as uh, optimizing as we could for the protection of the environment. So, Sarasota County at the present time is looking at a renovation of their land development codes. Low impact development is an environmentally sensitive approach to developing land and managing stormwater runoff through better integration of the built environment with the natural environment. Low impact development principles and practices allow a developed site to maintain its pre-development watershed and ecological functions. Such design practices include saving trees on the site, installing cisterns to capture rainwater, substituting pervious surfaces for impervious ones, creating green roofs, and planting Florida-friendly landscapes. For every inch of rainfall, I think you get about 600 gallons of water per thousand square feet of your roof. So you, as you think about the rainfall that we get here in Florida, we on our individual homes could generate a, a significant amount of water. If you go to Selby Gardens, for instance, they have, I think it's a 50,000 gallon cistern where they capture water off their greenhouses and use it to irrigate their plants in the greenhouses.